very very simple all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to put eight ounces of butter room temperature inside of this bowl and also i'm going to be weighing out six ounces of sugar and i'm using granulated sugar all right and this is six ounces of sugar lovely so we're gonna do cream the butter and the sugar together all right I'm just using a wooden spoon so if you want to do a smaller cake use four ounces of sugar and four ounces of butter all right if you want to make a big portion like a big batch just use double the amount we should use it nice so that's the sugar which I just cream all right if not you can also use a whisk let's give it a lovely look like this nice one so also what I'm going to do now is get the self rising flour that's what I'm being using all right guys so if you're at home and you want to do your cake simple let's get some self rising flour it's very easy that is a little bit too much self rising flour I'm going to be using eight ounces of self rising flour but this is a little bit too much you can sieve it if you like but I'm just gonna just put in my one just as it is you know I don't need to do anything too really fancy it's just something simple I'm doing at the moment so so what are you gonna do now I'm just simple Yeah. I just put in a little bit of the flour. Alright. Once you put in a little bit of the flour, and what you're gonna do is get three medium-sized egg. Alright guys. Um Basically, the reason why I'm giving it this kind of way, you're gonna see something. Oh, my cake come out lovely and nice. All right. So you're putting a little bit of the flour. Now I'm gonna put in one egg. Yeah, that's simple. I mix it together with it. one so now I'm gonna put in a little bit more of the flour and I'm going to also put in one more of the egg inside of it and just take a little time and fold it you know what I mean See that? Look at that. That is fantastic and really nice, honestly. Then I have the rest of the flour. And one more egg. And 
let's give it a lovely whisk. you want what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit more flavor so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of cinnamon just a little pinch pinch of nut and egg and a pinch of mixed spice and a roughly about a tablespoon of milk of about two tablespoons of milk. Give it a lovely mix. Lovely. So uh, that's a very easy cake where you guys can make at home. Honestly. Nice. So this is my oven tray. So I'm gonna be using. So I just put a little piece of a butter inside of it. What I'm going to do is put this piece of grease food paper inside and now I'm going to simple scrape this lovely cake very easy and simple cake guys honestly I'm just going to spread it out put it in the oven for 20 minutes and you can have this with your coffee You don't need a, a whisk or anything or a blender to make this. It's just easy. Very, very easy. So all you're going to do is put it in the oven for 20 minutes. That's it. Nice one. 20 minutes in the oven with that lovely cake. Nice. So this is a cake just finished so just take it from the oven you know very thin flat sponge cake look at that beautiful you know yeah that's exactly what i'm talking about it's very very thin and nice beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. Cook, lovely and nice, thin, and that's exactly what I was gonna talk to you guys about. So you can simply make a simple like a sponge cake like this at home for a coffee morning or for the kids them to go to school or you know when the kids them come from school. This is what you can do for them. So guys, just enjoy it and you know what I mean. Have you done a nice cup of coffee? You can go around. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We have a lot more recipe like this. We'll be coming. Simple sponge cake for birthday. Coffee morning. See you next time. Bye bye.